What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is today bringing you guys back with a brand new episode of Naruto Shippuden. Today we are going to be watching episode number 174, entitled "Tell of Naruto Uzumaki." So I don't know if we're going to see like a a flashback scene, or maybe this is just like I don't know, showcasing Naruto Uzumaki's origin because we saw the origin of pain last episode. And if you think about it, Naruto is going through the same sort of pain, losing so many different people, losing his whole entire league village this is the origin of naruto uzumaki and hopefully he chooses to go down a different path than pain did because we saw where pain's path led to and it's not very very good but i'm super excited for this episode man whether or not we see a flashback scene or not or regardless of what we see inside this episode i'm sure it's gonna be a good one nonetheless hopefully you guys are excited for the reaction if you guys are you guys are i know what to do be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also bear in mind that i do in fact have a patreon so if you guys do want to go through and view full reaction videos get early access content and exclusive series reactions shows like dragon ball one piece kanasuba on noah zero god of high school all sorts of shows over there are exclusive just the patreon you guys can find that all over there and just in general you guys can find the best viewing experience over there on the patreon page full uncut episode reactions full opacity all the good stuff over there so check it out if you guys are interested you guys can find the link at the top of the description down below but needless to say episode number 174 tell of naruto uzumaki we saw like the tell of the gutsy ninja you know obviously showcasing jiraiya the tell of i guess pain with you know the last two episodes so maybe we get to see some cool stuff inside of this episode let's go through and see what's in store for episode number 174 of Naruto Shippuden. Ah, here we go with Nagato, man. He's changed. Obviously. I can I can see how Pain turned out, how he turned out. I took over as the leader of our organization. Oh, some changes must have went down, huh? Countless other comrades have fought and died in battle. Oh. So many others. He's lost a lot of people. They kept dying. Yikes. The pain doesn't stop coming, huh? And the citizens of the land of fire, knowing full well the truth, still falsely proclaim peace. Yikes, man. The pain just keeps on coming. I mean, Nagato has not had a good set of cards in his hand. What you all like to call peace is only won through violence against us. Yikes. Not wrong, man. In order for some to live peacefully, others must die in war. The cycle of hatred, the cycle of pain, like he said during his speech a few episodes ago. Yikes. All that Jiraiya Sensei said about peace is nothing more than wishful thinking. Ah, man. I've told you my story just as you asked. Now let's hear your response. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. What does Naruto got to say about this? What do you say after hearing all that? Oh, the book. Oh, Jiraiya's book. Eventually, the day will come. When all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Ah, guess Naruto's trying to do that right now, trying to understand one another. Truth is, I think the same way you do. Oh, truce? Imagine? Nah, we can't. But even if I understand you now, it doesn't change what you did. That doesn't change how I feel. Nah, 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 nah. I still hate you. Facts. Then you want to settle things with me? I do. I do. But Pervy Sage believed in me and wanted me to continue his quest. So he can't. I choose to believe in him mm. and to follow what he taught me. Let's go, Naruto. That's why I'm not going to kill you guys. Oh. So what is Nagato going to do? You still believe in Jiraiya Sensei's teachings? Very well, then. Very well, then. You've given your answer. Are we fighting or what? You expect us to wait till you somehow magically transform this world to a peaceful place. <laughs> there will never be such a thing as true peace. Not as long as we're forced to live in this accursed world. Ah, man. Nagato's been through a lot, bro. You can't shift his thinking, huh? I'm gonna break that curse one day. Let's go, Naruto. If there's truly such a thing as peace in this world, I'll find it. I'll find it. Naruto be the one to do it. He's gonna find that peace. Nagato, what's the matter? Those words. Wait, what? It can't be. It can't be. All of those words are taken right out of this book. Ooh. 
He was seriously trying to change the world with his message. Ah, oh, man. Rest in peace, Jiraiya, bro. It was you, Nagato. Wow. That makes me get, like, the teary eyes, man. Wow. Ooh, flashback time. Ah, oh, Jiraiya. Sensei? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, what's up? I love Jiraiya, man. I was trying to do some work on my book. But I've come down with a bad case of writer's block. Hmm. Ah, Jiraiya. <laughs> I miss that guy, man. So, what's going on? I've been thinking about all the hatred in the world. Oh? And what ideas have you come up with so far? Oh, he's going to help Jiraiya with his book, huh? Real peace. Real peace. I still haven't figured out how to attain that yet. No one knows the answer just yet. Vow that I'm going to break that curse one day. Ah, There's man. There's such a thing as peace in this world, and somehow I'll find it. That's awesome. That's just what Naruto said. He just got it right from the book, man. How to make Nagato remember, like, what he first believed in, you know? Aha! Uh -huh. What is it? Well, thanks to you, I think I'm going to be able to write a brilliant novel. Ah, he contributed to Dry as a book. Got to come up with a name for the main character, the hero of the story. Oh, who's it gonna be? Nagato? It's crazy how things come full circle, man. This is such a well-written story. The three of you are all on your own from here on out. These past three years, you've done a great job. Ah, man. Don't cry, Yahiko, or people will call you a coward. <laughs> I hope we meet again someday. Gotta, gotta remember your origins, man. From this point forward, you three can change the fate of this land. Ah. Uh, such a well-written story, bro. You three have really grown up. Ah. Uh, Wouldn't you agree? They have, man. They've been through a lot. And more to come, as we know, in the future. For better or for worse. Such a well-written story, man. Come on now, stop crying, Yahiko. Is he crying? You can't really tell because the rain. I think they all are. Miss Sensei. Ah, they're gonna miss Jiraiya, man. Ooh, a book. Is that Jiraiya's book? <gasps> That's Jiraiya's book, huh? Dude, a soundtrack? What is that? Oh, Paper Bombs? From Conan or something. Ooh, Smoke Bombs. Oh, you're done. They're about to come from the shadows. Just give up now. No, 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 no. You give up. I'm trying to make me give up. That's what Naruto said. You give up on trying to make me give up. The connections is crazy, bro. They're doing this on purpose. There cannot be any peace ever. The cycle of hatred. I'm going to break that curse one day. If there is such a thing as peace, then somehow I'm going to find the cycle of hatred, bro. My name is. My name is. Ah, oh, you remember. You're actually the reincarnation of the Sage of the Six Paths. I have the feeling that your eyes may realize the hopes of that Sage. Ah, man. Things could have been so much different with Nagato. They made this cycle of hatred in view this episode, and it's so cool. I believe that you are that revolutionary. Ah, wow. I believe in you, Nagato. Ah, it's like, a, it's like a Naruto talking to the fourth Hokage. Ah, man. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You are the savior of this world. Ah, man. No. He remembers. Ah, uh, man. Things could have been different with pain, bro. Instead of trying to rule the world through pain, I wish you'd move past it and used your power to create peace in a positive way. Ah. I choose to believe in him and to follow what he taught me. Wow. Naruto went Naruto went down a different path. He went past the hatred and pain, whereas Nagato didn't. His name is... His name is... Who are you? My, My name, name is... is... Who? His name's Naruto. Oh, that was a really powerful, really powerful scene, man. Because we got to see, like, both perspectives and how Nagato and Naruto are literally exactly the same. It's just that Nagato didn't go past his hatred and his pain, whereas Naruto did. The name of the hero in this novel, his name is... His name's Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. There's no way that I'm just going to give up and dishonor my master's gift. And I will bring peace to the hidden rain. I will... I will, uh, I believe in me. Why should I? 
Why should I? How can you stand there and tell me that you will never change your mind? Ah, uh, because he did the same thing. You think you will always believe in yourself? I think so. Can you guarantee it? I think so. Naruto can. I felt pain too. You're not the only one. <laughs> Facts. That's, that's what I said a few episodes ago. Whenever uh, Nagato Pain was fighting Kakashi, he was like, now do you feel pain? Like, Kakashi's felt pain. All these people that he's, like, inflicting pain upon, they felt pain too. I mean, Kakashi lost his friends and stuff in those flashback scenes. Also, he fought in a war whenever he was, like, very, very young, right? And all these characters have felt pain. It's not just Nagato. It's kind of selfish to think you're the one who has the greatest pain when other people has equal or even greater pain than you. Even prior to all this mess, this, and, and this pain arc, Naruto's felt pain even prior to that. Being the outcast of the, the Leaf Village, being hated on just because he was who he was. Ah, such an iconic scene. Such an iconic scene. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Yikes. Naruto's felt pain too, bro. Ah, this scene gets me every time. That's messed up. There's still pain, and there's no telling what kind of pain I may face down the road. But you still gonna believe in yourself, regardless. If the hero in this book were to change who he is, it would become a whole different story. Facts. It sure wouldn't be the story our master left behind. Facts. And Naruto won't stop Naruto. believing in himself. That's the crazy thing. Nagato could have been the hero in the book. That's why no matter how much pain my own path brings, I'll keep walking because that's who Naruto is. Wow. We are sibling students sharing the same sensei. We ought to be able to understand each other. Yeah. When I said that to you earlier, I meant it as a joke. But now you're serious about it? You really are a curious fellow. <laughs> you remind me of myself when I was much younger. He does, man. It's just that Naruto isn't gonna let the pain change him. I think I shall believe in you after all. Naruto Uzumaki. Oh, I got the major chills. Nagato, you can't. No, Conan. It's all right. What's he doing? I don't know what this uh, jutsu is gonna do, but he's gonna die after he uses it. What is he about to do? Kato. If he performs the jutsu with his current level of chakra. He's gonna die? He's willing to go that far for this child. Wait, what? He's gonna die after he uses this jutsu, right? Ooh. What in the world? Oh my god. Yo. Ooh. What is he doing? Is that chakra? I think that's chakra. Uh, some sort of healing ability or something. It appears to have ended. Oh, let's go. It's as my vision foretold. Although I never thought two of Jiraiya's students would be the children of prophecy. <laughs> In that moment when Jiraiya chose not to give up, all this became preordained. Ah, man. That book would really become the key to changing the world. Jiraiya's book became the key of changing the world. That is crazy. It's really good to actually see that Jiraiya's actually like contributed to changing the world for better because that's what he really, really solely wanted to do. And it's, it's really good that he actually got that. It sucks that he couldn't see the world actually change, but he is a main contributor of why the world's going to change. That's awesome. That episode was crazy, bro. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, so that is the end of that episode, episode number 174 of Naruto Shibuden. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, you guys already know what to do. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon. So if you guys do want to view the full uncut episode reaction, you guys can find that. The best viewing experience over there on the Patreon page. You'll find the link to the Patreon page at the top of the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But needless to say, episode number 174, Tell of Naruto Uzumaki, I guess is the, the name of the book that Jiraiya wrote because th this whole episode just it really really connected and it was in such like a really beautiful way where we got to see some flashback scenes of Nagato talking to Jiraiya obviously my man Jiraiya he was uh, you know experiencing some writer's block and what Nagato said 
helped him continue to write his book over and over and over again to the point where he finished the book, where we reflect now to present day, and that same book is a main contributor of why the world's gonna change. And the, the, the crazy similarities of Naruto and Nagato were really, really, like, really, really evident and really, really cool inside this episode, man, because we got to see Nagato said the exact same thing. He said, like, stop trying to give up on making me give up or something like that. He said the same exact phrases that Naruto did against pain, and it's kind of cool to see, like, the, the circumstances it's kind of flip-flop because of course Nagato was in Naruto's shoes against someone else and he said the same exact thing but flash forwards back to the present day Nagato is now the you know in the opposite sort of position and Naruto is in his position that he once was in and they said the same exact thing they had the same ideals the same sort of beliefs of how to change the world of believing in themselves until things went off course with Nagato and Nagato basically let the pain and hatred get to him and he didn't actually see past that and follow what Jiraiya said whereas Naruto did and it's just really really cool to see kind of like the kind of like the connections between everything and how that Naruto could potentially have like turned out just like Pain did if he would have actually like for example killed Pain instead of inside of the last few episodes when he showed up instead of like actually going face to face and talking to him and like talking things out it's really cool to see like how awesome that Naruto actually is because we see time and time again it was told kind of in the same way against Gara that you know Naruto could have turned out just like Gara but he didn't same thing in this regard Naruto could have turned out just like Pain or Nagato I should say but he didn't and it's really cool to see that Naruto he really is the prophecy child I don't know what uh, Nagato actually did as well at the very very end there but he's also the prophecy prophecy child apparently as well and he did something crazy towards the end some sort of like healing jutsu or something I'm not too entirely sure it said like ghetto jutsu or something I'm not too entirely sure what it was but some really really cool jutsu the like crazy guy got summoned and then all of a sudden we got to see these like healing abilities kind of get spread out through the leaf fillers and maybe he healed a lot of the people that were hurt so I guess Payne's doing some sort of like crazy jutsu to either like help out the leaf village like heal some of the damage that he actually did because that crazy thing was summoned and then it spread out some sort of like healing looking objects all throughout the leaf village so if so i mean at least he's cleaning up a little bit of his mess that he created i mean it's gonna take a long time to get the leaf village back to where it was but he when he went out and did a little bit of help i guess but still man still man he went down the wrong path huh i'm assuming because like obviously nagato is like really really weak by the end of the episode and conan was even worried about him so i'm guessing he's gonna die very very soon which later my guy you caused so much pain at least you kind of made up for it towards the end there, but still, nah, man. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. It's really cool to see, though, like, the similarities in Nagato and Naruto, but I wonder what's going to happen with Conan now that she's basically lost Yaiko and potentially Nagato soon as well. I wonder what path she's going to take after losing Nagato. That response from Naruto, man, was really, really good was really really good i loved how it all kind of came together i'm guessing the pain arc's gonna end very very soon if so that was just the icing on the cake seeing naruto talk to Na nagato getting the flashback scenes getting some information on their backstories and stuff it's really cool how it all kind of panned out so that was just a great way to end the pain arc i'm not sure if it's gonna end anytime soon i'm sure it's gonna end very very soon if not it's already ended but man that was probably the best arc that we've watched on this channel up until this point hopefully it gets better hopefully it gets better but that was a really beautiful arc i just looked it up and um episode 175 so next episode is the end of the pain arc so man this arc's been really really good as i said i'm excited to see how it kind of actually gets you know fully concluded i'm guessing nagato is gonna die as i said i wonder what conan's gonna do after that happens but only time can tell man only time can tell hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction if you guys did you guys already know what to do be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also bear in mind if you guys want to go the extra mile and get the best viewing experience you guys can find that over there on the patreon page it does help support this channel out tremendously so i appreciate each and every single one of you guys thank you but needless to say i'll see you guys on the next one peace